Flu season is well underway and now it's partnered up with the latest worldwide virus, COVID. But since 2020, the way the virus impacts many of us has changed. WCCO's Mariel Mo sat down with an infectious disease doctor to learn how to decipher the symptoms of today's COVID. I don't think there's going to be a, uh, a, a public health recommendation for masking. It's just too potentially controversial. Alina Health Infectious Disease Physician Dr. Frank Rame says mandatory masking is not coming back, but COVID isn't going away either. Because the virus is constantly mutating and changing, if people want to protect themselves from it, it's recommended to get vaccinated annually, just like we do with flu season. I think between the two of them, we're going to be doing it every fall. Could even be sooner. You know, we had that we had a big jump when we went from Delta to Omicron. Dr. Rame says as people get COVID for a second and third time, their symptoms will be less severe, which is why he emphasizes the importance of testing. If you have respiratory tract symptoms in today's world, you should get a COVID test. Upper respiratory tract symptoms include headaches, nasal congestion, and runny nose, which could be confused as seasonal allergies. But Dr. Rame says there's a difference. Most people who get allergies recognize the difference. They have more eye findings, itchy, watery eyes. They have a more watery nasal discharge. Dr. Rame also recommends testing for lower respiratory tract symptoms, which includes severe cough, wheezing, shortness of breath, and chest tightness. In addition to our bodies handling the virus better, Dr. Rame says there are also better treatments for COVID that can shorten the symptoms and help with recovery. In Minneapolis, Mary Elmos, WCCO News. The CDC provides updated data on COVID cases by county across the country. If your county is green, cases are low. If they're yellow or orange, cases are on the rise. We've shared a link to that map with this story on WCCO.com.